Craig, well done. Ten goals, none conceded over the two cup games and some really good attacking play again, especially second half. Yeah, I think we looked a threat um, the entire game. Obviously, we had a few scary moments. They had a couple of good chances themselves, but um, the conditions weren't great. But really pleased in the end that we did the job. Yeah, I think Johnny Ashman missed two really good chances for East Thurrock, but once they'd gone begging, I don't think they really had another sniff and you really took control. Yeah, I think there were chances at both ends. I think we had a couple of good moments as well. Game was quite wide open. Like I said, uh, Rain was sort of making it a, a bit of an open match as well. And a bit of slip on pitch. So, uh, but yeah, really pleased. Start to win half time, 1 0 up. What an afternoon, weather wise. It's presumed hard to prepare for something like that. You don't very often train in anything of that ilk. Yeah, it was horrendous, to be honest. And the wind were a lot stronger than I thought, actually. And um, first half, we did pretty well to play against it, to be honest. So, um, second half, we, we used it to his advantage and uh, created a lot of chances. What pleased you most? I would imagine the clean sheet was up there again. Yeah, clean sheet. Obviously, um, again, it could have been done in a lot more sort of confident manner. But um, I just think um, we looked a threat every time we went forward. We got. Um, I, th I thought Fraser Preston were a big positive today, um, and Paul Green and, and, and Luke Spokes come in as well and did really well. Got the legs in that I wanted. So a lot of positives to come out of the game. And today really demonstrated the depth that you've got. You changed your two fullbacks, probably through necessity more yeah. than anything today. But then you brought fresh legs into midfield with two players that haven't really played. Yeah, we wanted to play a different way today. We wanted to get a lot of energy and uh, press on high up the pitch. And uh, the lads did that. Um, and like I said, it's, um, it's a squad game. Everybody's going to get a chance to play. We've got a lot of games this month. And it's pleasing that lads have come in and done their bit as well now. You always call for substitutes to make an impact. Yeah. And Joe Leesley with an assist and Jake Wright Jr. with a goal have done that. Yeah, I just had a feeling Jake had scored. He's trained really well this week and I thought that goal was absolutely outstanding. The ball from Joe was superb and he took it really well and we finished it with class that I don't know Jake's got. And fair to say, if you're going to have a successful season, Joe Leasley's going to need to be at the heart of it. Yeah, we've, we've missed him. You know, I've said a few weeks ago, we look a bit unbalanced up front. We need wingers. Um, we've obviously had Jay Rowling's missing, lost Terry, um, lost Joe. So we have looked unbalanced. So to get him back is great. And he showed his quality when he come on. As well as an energetic player, he brings you that tempo that you need. All eyes or ears on the fourth qualifying round draw now. Quarter past three on Monday, live on Talk Sport. What are you hoping for? Another home tie? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you want an home tie. Obviously, my we own we town club, Pony Collieries, are still in it as well. So, um, but uh, yeah, just look. Obviously, we'll take anything that comes. It's just exciting. I think that's what you want in the FA Cup. You want to get through and just have that excitement on Monday, and we'll take it as it comes. In the meantime, though, you've got two big league games, and not many tougher in this division than away to a full-time outfit in Gateshead. No, some teams look a full-time outfit and Gates had a one. Um, they're very sharp, they're, they're good how they play football and I think they've got the best home record in the league. So, um, tough, tough game, but a game to be looking forward to. Um, two good teams going at it and we've got to take this confidence now. We're, I think we're one in six now, one loss in six. So, um, we'll, we'll go there nice and confident and I look forward to a good game. Yeah, some real options for you now as well. Everybody come through today, OK? Yeah, um, obviously Luke Spokes come off with a bit of a sore groin, but I think he'll be fine. Um, so we've got a nice, healthy squad. Um, and obviously I've got a lot of decisions to make this week and we'll see how training goes.